Hey all, welcome back to another episode. Right now I am at Banihal railway station and our train is here. And we are going to Baramula. Yep, you heard it right. After thinking on so many permutation and combination, uh, I'll talk about those in some time. I have finally decided that I'll be going to Baramula, the very place that we have heard so many times in the news for all the bad reasons. Perhaps that might be the reason why I'm going there, and also because it is the northernmost railway station of India. That's a cool place to be at, right? So today we'll find out first hand how the place is, how the people are, and how is the situation there at present. So earlier we have seen the train from outside and this is how it looks like from inside. It's very spacious and seats look very comfy. But I'll be mostly at the door and you know the reason. I also had this in my mind that once I reach Srinagar maybe next day early morning I'll try to go to Baramula. But that will be a time wasted on so many levels because I have to get back to Srinagar railway station and also train availability is an issue. On top of that since I don't have any prior plans for Baramula and I'm not sure how safe the place is I won't be even leaving the railway station and I'll take the next train to Srinagar To be honest I'll be very happy with whatever I'll get to see from the train itself So I was standing at the door and recording with all excitement and suddenly this tunnel came. I was like okay, how long will it take to get it over? It will be over in the next second I thought. And like a fool I kept on recording. After three and a half minutes I stopped and waited to get it past. But man, it went on like for another 15 minutes. So basically later on upon reading I got to know that it is the longest railway tunnel in India. with around 11 kilometers in length and it is called Jawahar Tunnel or Pir Panjal Tunnel. Hilar Abad is the first station that we come across after the tunnel and I was expecting the views that we were getting in Banihar and before that but suddenly it was like I was back in Chandigarh. All I was able to see was long stretches of paddy fields. I was like dude where is the, where's the Kashmir that we have read about and heard about? Though I am not totally disappointed, but yeah, what a surprise. Wind is blowing and it has started raining again. With that, we have arrived at the next station which is Kazigund. To my surprise, I have never seen a railway station filled with so many police personnel. Now I am not sure if this security is just because of the independence day or it's normally like this. I am really scared to record in front of them to be honest. Along with that, the one more thing that you guys will notice is that the RPF building is barricaded and protected with barbed wires. Well, that itself shows how unstable the past of this region was.
The landscape of Kashmir is mostly composed of paddy fields, trees, right now rain, and beautiful houses popping up in between from the trees, giving it a serene look. And alright, alright, here comes the station, here comes the station that I was eagerly waiting for. The iconic, the nostalgic Anantnag. Now I am feeling like I am in the core area of Kashmir. So whenever there was a talk about Amarnath Yatra on news channels, we have heard the name of Anantnag. Mostly when there will be a heavy snowfall, the pilgrims will be stopped at this place. It feels like a milestone achieved, being here. This is one of the few places in Kashmir that I have heard the name of before and uh, wanted to be here myself. So till now we have covered half of the distance to Baramula and this brief animation will tell you the route we took and will be taking in the future. The next episode is going to be an exciting one. But before I end this vlog here, I would like to request you all guys to like my videos and subscribe to my channel. That will be a great motivation for me to make more such videos. And with that I'll leave and I'll see you guys in the next one.